In Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the pristine or sparkling Royal Guards Claymore is a rare and superior variant of the Claymore you can find in Hyrule Castle, and is capable of dealing over 900 damage per hit. The sparkling version has a very low chance of spawning on a Shadow Soldier in the depths. In order to improve your odds of finding one, you'll want to complete the chain of quests with Robbie and Joshua until you unlock the Sensor Plus upgrade for your Purapad. At that point, you'll be able to interact with Robbie's Compendium database at the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. You can purchase random new Compendium entries for 100 rupees each, and those that you get will be trackable with the sensor on your Purapad. Among said entries is the Sparkling Royal Guards Claymore. I didn't want to buy all of the weapon pictures as that would have been over 15,000 rupees. So instead, I created a manual save, then bought 50 entries for 5,000 rupees. That gave me about a 1 in 3 odds of getting the Sparkling Royal Guards Claymore as an entry. The first time I bought the entries, I did not get the Claymore, so I loaded back to the save I made before I purchased the 50 entries, and tried again. I ended up doing this three times until I finally got the Sparkling Royal Guards Claymore as an entry, and I was able to then target it with the sensor. After doing that, I decided to go explore the depths and activate the remaining light routes. Within an hour or so, my sensor started ringing, alerting me to a pristine Royal Guards Claymore nearby. Sure enough, one had spawned on a Shadow Soldier right beneath me. Were it not for the sensor, I definitely would have missed it as it was around 200 units below. To give some perspective, here is what a horse stable looks like when flying 200 units above it. And for anyone that wants to know, here was where I found the Claymore in my game. It was beneath the Gerudo Highlands. Now, there may have been other factors at play. Many people speculate that the weapons that spawn on Shadow Soldiers are determined by level scaling, which in turn is determined in large part by how many enemies a player has defeated. Given that many of the enemies I run into are silver tier, the level scaling in my game is fairly high. That being said, the highest tier of weapons I found on the Shadow Soldiers before finding the Royal Guards Claymore were all regular Knight's weapons and I've never found any of the base royal type weapons on Shadow Soldiers. So I don't think we can say for certain what conditions allow the Sparkling Royal Guards Claymore to spawn. In any case, I'm not making any guarantees or saying you should go scouring the depths for the sword. However, I highly recommend you unlock the pristine Royal Guards Claymore in the compendium and track it while doing anything else in the depths as it will greatly increase your chances of noticing the Claymore should you be lucky enough to travel near one. If you manage to get a pristine Royal Guards Claymore and want to maximize the damage you deal with it, I highly recommend checking out the Bone Build Guide over on my channel. It will show you exactly how to get that Claymore dealing 1000 damage per hit, two-shotting a 2000 health Lionel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Friday and a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching.